Now, Golden Arrow Bus Service is joining forces with police following several robberies on its buses. The initiative has already led to some arrests. The company is also looking to introduce other security measures. To tell us more, we're joined by ENCA reporter Monique Mortlock. Monique, um, uh, Golden Arrow is saying that it's adding more uh, security visibility. Have you seen any security measures that have improved at that terminal? We are at the um, bus depot in Epping at the moment where we will be seeing some of these new security features, these pilot um, initiatives that will be implemented by Golden Arrow Bus Service. As I mentioned earlier, this is a collaborative um, effort between Golden, uh, Golden Arrow Bus Service, the SAPS and local government, that's the City of Cape Town and Western Cape Government. So all of these entities coming together to try and find a way to ensure that passengers and um, staff members are safe. But to give us a bit more insight into this, I have Bronwyn Dykebayer from Golden Arrow Bus Service with me. We are in one of these buses that have been uh, retrofitted with some of these new measures. Bronwyn, um, thank you so much for joining us. Give us a bit of insight into the thinking behind these security uh, systems. So basically what we are doing is meant to augment the work that's being done by SAPS and the authorities. So we're looking at anything we can do on the bus that's going to help to catch these people or to stop them from perpetrating robberies in the first place. So what you're seeing here is a camera system. Um, there's facial recognition in the front. There's a camera here. It's linked to GPS. There are other features, obviously, which I won't go into detail because they're, they're covert. But it's a very uh, technologically comprehensive system and the aim is to be able to get facial recognition and also to trigger if anything is happening on the bus and this is just something that we're doing from our side but I think the bigger picture is the fact that we've got this integrated joint operational plan between us, SAPS and all of the city law enforcement and we've got this help coming from provincial governments and we've always said this isn't something that we could ever solve or fight alone and so we're very, very grateful that everybody's come on board and we think we're really going to start to see a big difference now. Let's just take a, a couple of steps forward. I'm going to ask my colleague Mario Pedro just to follow you, Bronwyn, so we can see some of these um, other features that you mentioned, this facial recognition uh, camera. So what happens, as you mentioned to me earlier, is uh, passengers will board the bus and um, these cameras can pick up what their, their facial features obviously and what they look like and Bran, when you mentioned that um, these cameras they or, or the visuals on the bus they can be monitored um, by your, your your security teams remotely that's correctly and it's a live feed it's a live continuous feed so it's not only when something is triggered it's it's continuous feed that's coming from the facial recognition camera there's another camera in the driver's cab there's the cab right here in the saloon and the aim is ultimately to have it not only operated, um, monitored by our own team, but to have it monitored in the Transport Information Centre, which is able to dispatch um, law enforcement and SAPs and other emergency services. And Bronwyn, just lastly, you mentioned the fact that it's not as if Golden Arrow um, Bus Service just woke up uh, now uh, and decided to implement these security features. And it's not just because of the spate of robberies that we've been seeing. It has been an ongoing initiative, an ongoing plan. Look, for many years we've been having a lot of struggles. Robberies is one of them. Um, I'm sure you know last year we lost uh, 13 13 buses to arson. Um, every day we, our buses get stolen, there's vandalism. So there's a lot of things that we've really needed help with from the authorities. And we've been lobbying them at multiple level, levels through letters, engagements, meetings. Our CEO even did a presentation at the end of last year to the Standing Committee on uh, Public Transport and uh, Public Works. And in it, basically, it was just very clear and very real and said, listen, we need help. This, this isn't right. This cannot continue. Our passengers, our staff need to be safe. Public transport is a key part of our economy. And uh, working people and, and bus drivers need to be able to know that they can travel from one destination to another safely and without fear. That was Bronwyn Dyke Bayer from Golden Arrow Bus Service, just taking us through some of those new security features that um, will be done in a pilot phase as um, Golden Arrow Bus Service, SAPS and local government will be seeing which solutions work best to ensure the safety of passengers and the bus drivers. All right, thank you very much. That was, of course, reporter Monique Monclock.